This is going to be another part where we weigh up whether a arrow function is better or worse off in what we're trying to do. So let's imagine that we had some kind of global user in our application. Of course, it probably wouldn't be a variable floating around somewhere, but uh, in the case of this flat file, we'll just set the user here to either null or an array with some kind of data that we want to access. So I'm going to define these both out here and we can just comment whichever one out that we don't want to see. OK, so let's return back to a really simple greet function here, but let's add a if statement inside of here to determine how to greet the user if they're a guest, e.g. if user is null, or if they are logged in, e.g. if the user has data in it. So let's create out an if statement here to say, well, if the user, which remember we have to bring into scope here using use, or of course pass into this function, depending on how we are uh, structuring our code, we're just going to return out the string, hey, because they're a guest. We don't have access to any data for that user. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and return hey, and we're going to concatenate on the user's name. And of course, again, this is most likely going to be some kind of object available in your application. So let's var dump out on greet and just see what we get. OK, so let's come over to the browser and give that a refresh. And sure enough, at the moment, we get hey. If I comment this one out and uncomment this, we get, hey, Alex, pretty straightforward logic inside of this function. Now, we might be thinking, well, maybe we could just move this over to an arrow function. Let's see what happens when we try and do this. In fact, it's going to be pretty difficult to show you because we're going to cause a syntax error along the way. So let's just rewrite this from scratch. So I'm going to say, well, I want to rewrite this, perhaps re refactor this to use an arrow function instead. So as soon as I define out the arrow function, we know that we have an if statement in here. So let's just try and start to write an if statement. So I'm going to say if not user. Now, what do we do here? Do we define out a block or do we return something? We know that we don't re use return statements inside of arrow functions. So what's going on here? Well, at the moment, this is actually causing a syntax error. I've just saved this and if we just hover over here to see what we get. We actually get an unexpected if. So the takeaway, the key takeaway from this part is an arrow function only allows one expression inside of here. So we can't use if statements, we can't use anything else but a symbol, uh, a simple return value. We can do anything we want within that return value. So we could return a function, for example. Uh, we could return a addition. So we've already looked at adding a left and a right operand and returning that value. You can do pretty much whatever you want as long as it's a single expression because remember uh, an arrow function just returns a value so if you really wanted to in the case of this arrow function if it was really important to you what you could do is you could say hey and you could concatenate on a ternary so you could say well if the user is available i want to concatenate on the user's name Otherwise, I want to concatenate on an empty string. And because we've got this extra space here, which will be floating around after this, we could even return the result of the trim function, which would trim off this extra space in the event that we were returning an empty string using this ternary. So this would pretty much be the uh, exact same as what we just did with that if statement inside of here. And you can see that gives us exactly the same thing. So if I just comment this out, get rid of that user you can see we just get hey so this is done exactly the same thing in one line now the question is and uh, this is important you've got to kind of weigh up whether it's worth the logic inside of an arrow function like this i think this is absolutely fine personally but if anything gets a little bit more complicated you don't want to have to run in to start using multiple ternaries inside of here and creating a huge mess so you might again just be best using a normal anonymous function. But again, that's completely up to you to, to decide. The point of this lesson was just to show you that we can only return a single expression when we're using arrow functions in PHP.